Hi, today I wanted to share with you a five minute makeup look. So I've done my cleanse, tone, moisturize. I've gone in with my Sunday and SPF protection, absolute must, whatever the weather. And then I've gone in with my Luma, just did a bit of coverage over certain areas. So underneath my eyes, around my nose, over my eyelids to prep that, that eyeshadow and on my chin as well. So not a whole face full of makeup, just a very much a natural look today. And then I've gone in with my mineral foundation, which is very light sphericals, lovely powder, soft powder in the shade two, just all over with my Kabuki brush, absolutely gorgeous. And then to set that all in place, I've gone in with my soft focus powder with a little powder puff here. Just if you have a bit of shine or you tend to have um, shiny breakouts during the day, so around my nose, just setting that makeup in place underneath my eyes, on my chin, and a little bit on my forehead. So now we're gonna go in with my color palette. So the idea of today's video is to show you a whole face you can do in five minutes with the one color palette. These are a great, great invention. So the first brush here, we have a three-in-one brush with a spoolie on the end. So we're just gonna brush through our eyebrows. Um, but I love the colour palette. You can actually put any colour combinations in there. You've got brows, you've got eyeshadows, blushes, highlights, contours, everything you need in the one palette. It's a great idea. So I'm going in with the smaller end of the brush with the brow boss, and this is in the colour cedar. So going in with a bit of definition here. So even if you don't have time to do much else or you're in a bit of a rush, definitely give your brows that definite care that they need. Um, it really does frame your face and it doesn't have to be anything too bold or bright, just something that looks natural, but a little bit more coloring in of the hair. Now we're gonna go in with the actual eyeshadow top of the brush and we're going in with Eyes On You in the shade Cashew. This is to give my eyelid just a very base color that's actually going to sort of coat and just enhance anything that I then put on top of it. So if you do have any pigmentation, obviously set your eyelids beforehand with a bit of concealer, all this sort of very light, natural looking eyeshadow. So now I'm going in with the bronzer shade, Barley, using the precision brush and just the sort of stubby end of it. This is a really quick, easy eyeshadow. So even if you don't want to place any eyeshadow, you think I haven't got time for that, but you want some sort of color and a bit of light and a bit of depth to the eyelid, it is the simplest and easiest way to give a bit of color that looks natural, um, but just looks, you know, very wide awake and just gives you a bit of color and definition. So I love doing that on, on days where I want to get out of the house really quickly. So that's just a bit of bronzer on the eyelid. Then we're going to go in with the highlighter color and that's in golden hour. So this is actually going to be just as a shimmery shade on the inner corner of my eye. So I love how Tropics makeup, you can use it anywhere. You don't have to worry. And it's so, you know, you can adapt it and put it all over your face, wherever you choose, because you know it can be used and it's so natural. So that gives a bit of light to the inner corner of the eye, just blending that in slightly. So that's the eyeshadows basically done. You don't need to go mad on every day. If you don't have time, this is a five minute makeup. So just using my eyelash curler then, and again, it's a real must. It does make a big difference to your eyelashes. Just two little quick squeezes, about five, 10 seconds each, um, and then sort of lifting up the eyelashes. Going in with a silk gel liner now, going in my inner waterline. So if you don't want to have a big line over the actual top of the lashes, this makes a massive difference to definition of your actual eyelid and also makes your mascara and your eyelashes look so much bolder and less sparse. So I'm now going in with the fixing gel in black, lovely natural mascara, very, very light, just a few coats on here. And I, I think it is my, my ride or die, I would not do without my mascara, I could not be without mascara. That's the one thing on my desert island that I would have is mascara. So a few little coats of this, and that's basically gonna be the eyes done. So it's a very, very quick look, looks very natural light. You, but just turned up a notch. That's what I love about it. So that's the end of that. And you could stop there. You don't have to do now the next elements, but I'm gonna go back in with that bronzer again. Um, and just looking for my looking for my um, cheekbones there. Um, and then just gently stippling in a sort of a three motions around this side of the face. Then they're going to be going over on the top of the face. Just looks where, your, um, where the sun would naturally hit your face. So when you're looking healthy and natural and, and glowing, this is what you want to look like. So just a little bit under the chin as well, a bit of definition, a bit of contouring, but with the bronzer. So it's very, very light. Don't think anything, when you think of bronzer or contour, it doesn't have to be severe or too bold or stripy in any way. It's just naturally adding that glow and color to your skin. So we're now going in with the blush. So this is the um, Cheeky Peach shade. 
So it's a lovely goldeny, bronzy type look I've gone for here today. Nothing overly pinky or, or ready or anything too bold, but just very natural looking. So um, what I did there with my finger was you'll see again in a moment on the other cheek is just a way of you putting your cheek, your blusher, sorry, on the right part of your cheek. So you're going to go higher than you think. Um, if you go too low, it makes everything start to look a bit low and sagging. So you want it higher, especially as you get older. And it just puts that glow on your on your face. I absolutely love blusher. And this is the lip fudge. So if you don't want to be putting lip glosses or lipsticks on every day, this is a lovely um, lip plumping lip gloss. Absolutely love it. Lovely lip fudge. And that's the final look. So it can look, you know, you go out the door now, absolutely fantastic. Um, and you'll be absolutely glowing for the day. So it's a really quick five minute makeup. All of this is available on my web shop or with me in person. We can do a one-to-one -one consultation. I'd love to see you. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Take care.